Welcome back! Today I'm going to talk you through how I layer my clothes when I go cycling for the different temperatures. To start with, I usually look at the recommended temperature for an item of clothing and take 3 to 5 degrees off that, and that's because I get cold easily. So you'll figure out if you are on the warm side or the cold side, and you can adjust accordingly as you get to know. So first of all, above 25 degrees, jersey and shorts I'm fine when it starts to go below that I start pulling out things like arm warmers so arm warmers are great you can put them on as you need them and when you get too hot you can stuff them in your jersey pockets speaking of jersey pockets they are great for things like gilets so a nice packable lightweight gilet but it still blocks the wind so they're great for early morning starts when it's a bit cooler and you need to protect your body from the wind so they're lightweight they're packable they're a great item to have on you and usually they're a little bit water resistant as well. And then once it starts dropping below 15 degrees, I start pulling out jackets. And this jacket is a great windproof jacket and it covers a lot of temperatures for me. So 15 right down to five degrees, this jacket is pretty good. One thing that's key to layering as a cyclist is keeping your core warm. And there is a point for me at about below 15 degrees. I also like to keep my knees warm to keep my joints warm. So I pull out the uh, knee warmers. And since I live in the UK, I almost always carry with me a rain jacket. So this is a nice lightweight packable rain jacket that fits in my jersey pocket, as you might have guessed. It's a clear slash white color, so it matches pretty much everything I have, and it fits over my um, other jacket, and so it's a great item to have. I wear it over my jerseys in the summer and over this jacket in the colder weather, so it covers a lot of conditions for me, and it just makes whatever I'm wearing waterproof. Used in the Pyrenees, it was great. It's breathable, waterproof. It's very handy to have. And if it's raining badly enough, I pull out the booties. So these are waterproof shoe covers. And the one thing about shoe covers though, if you're wearing shorts, is the water will run down your leg into your shoe. And there's a little trick you can do to stop that. You can buy a pair of industrial rubber gloves, cut the cuffs off, and use those to seal your shoes and your booties. Now we're talking winter wear, temperatures under 10 degrees. As you can see, I'm wearing a long sleeve base layer under my tights. Base layers are great for wicking sweat away from your body and helping regulate your core temperature. You can wear a long sleeve like this one or a tank top style like this one, depending on what you need. You may choose to wear a base layer under your jersey or you may choose to wear a base layer and no jersey. It's up to you, it's what works best for you, what gives you freedom of mu movement and uh, keeps you regulated body temperature wise. In winter, I always dress to the feels like temperature. Wind chill plays a major factor on a bike, obviously, because you've got the wind coming at you as you pedal. So a good jacket with wind blocking is a must. And once it gets below five degrees, usually around zero, I start covering my ears and wearing a hat. Keeping your feet warm and dry is a must in the winter. So you'll notice I'm wearing my booties and they do a great job of protecting your feet from the wind and keeping them warm, as well as fending off any wet weather. And of course, once it gets cold, for me, usually under 12 degrees, the long finger gloves come out. And one thing to look for when you're buying gloves is good cuffs. So you want to be able to stop any wind from going up the sleeve of your jacket. So a good cuff is great for that. There is one item of clothing I forgot, the buff. So this keeps your neck warm. It's a great versatile piece. You can pull it up over your mouth and nose if they get cold in really cold days. I hope you found this video interesting. If you want to know about any of the items, I will put a link in the description below where you can get them. I have more videos coming up in the beginner series, so be sure to subscribe and click on the bell for notifications of when they are released. And thank you for watching.